as I was working this morning, the Lord uh, brings to mind different times when in my thoughts I became suicidal. And um, he's, he's bringing back these moments in my mind to me. And um, he's letting me know that there is someone dealing with this right now inside of their mind, inside of their feelings. And um, he put this strong urgency inside my spirit to get this message out. So if you are dealing with these feelings, if you are dealing with these thoughts, um, this message is for you. It's straight from God. He is seeing what you are going through. Um, he put a strong urgency saying, telling me now that I have to do this message right now for you. Okay. So he wants you to know that he loves you very much and he, you are not alone. You are not alone. He's sending me to give you this message that you are not alone. Okay. Um, he's seeing exactly what you are going through. He knows the feelings that you are, are dealing with. Um, he knows the hardships that you are dealing with. And uh, he wants you to know that you're not alone, that you, uh, that he is having people pray for you. He's telling me this right now. He is having people pray for you, um, people that you are unaware of. Um, are praying for you, um, <clears throat> including me. Um, I am praying for you. Um, he wants you to know that there are angels around you that are fighting a spiritual battle on your behalf. Because what is going on right now inside of your head and inside of your feelings is a, is something spiritual. It's a spiritual battle going on. And these thoughts that you are feeling, thinking, these thoughts that you are thinking that you believe are your own are not your own. He wants you to know these things are not of you. They are of the enemy. That He is planting thoughts inside of your, your mind. He's planting feelings inside of yourself. Um, feelings of being overwhelmed, not being able to take it anymore. Um, that you would be better off gone. That, that nobody cares for you. That you're a burden. No. These things are, um, are not thoughts coming from you. And they are not truths coming from you. They are lies coming from the enemy. Okay, he wants you to believe them and, and um, you know, he wants you to believe them and put them into action, okay? And, and this is something that you need to, um, you need to realize that uh, th th there's no truth to this. There is no truth to this. Okay, um, the Lord wants to bring you truth right now, that you are valued, that you are loved, that, um, that, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. He's saying that he has a, a bright future for you. There are many good things to come. Okay. But right now you are feeling like you cannot even see a future that you, you can't even feel like there is a future. Um, there's like this block at, in front of you that, that you are unable to get past that you can't even imagine a future. Um, the Lord says this block is, is not real. Okay. That there is a future for you. There is many, many good things for you in your future. Um, and that uh, these these things that you're dealing with right now are temporary, okay? They may seem like they've been going on for a long time, and they may seem unending, okay? But the Lord says there is an end to it. They are temporary. They are temporary. He says, do not make a permanent decision from a temporary feeling, okay? And this feeling that you're feeling is not even real, Okay, it's an illusion. Um, do not make a permanent decision based on a temporary feeling. There are good things that he has for you. You know, when he brought these, these times up in my head today, I thought about all the good things that I would have missed. 
and my, my children would have missed out on all these good times with me. You know, you, it's very, very hard when you're in the moment. When you're in the moment and, and you have this overwhelming, overwhelming um, sense of um, not being able to handle it anymore. But you have to know that this will pass. These feelings and this, this, these thoughts that you're having are going to pass and once they pass, you will be able to look back on this and realize, okay, it was really bad when I was going through it, but it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. It wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. And the Lord is on your side and he loves you. And who, who else, who better to have on your side than the God that made heaven and earth? He loves you very much. And he needs you to know that. Okay. You have lots of good things coming your way. And, um, you have to realize that, that this is, this is temporary. Um, the Lord says that there are people around you that uh, that care about you very much and that um, are able and willing to help you, okay? So if you are having these feelings and they are um, intense, you need to go to someone and talk to someone you trust, okay? You may not feel like you can trust anyone. You may not feel like anyone cares, but the Lord says there are people who care and they will take you seriously, okay? So um, go to someone who is um, around you physically, okay, who is able to to um, help you, Uh if you have no one around you physically um, and you feel like you cannot do this alone, um, if you can't go to like a, a pastor or someone, call, call a helpline, okay? There is no, there's no shame in asking for help. And a lot of these helplines are anonymous, okay? And they'll talk you through it. But, um... But the Lord says, you know, take hold of the resources that are available to you. Um, he's having me pray for you. He's having others pray for you. And um, he wants you to know that this is temporary. Okay, let's just pray right now. Father God. I want to lift up this person to you right now as they are feeling overwhelmed, as they are feeling that they can't take it anymore, as they are feeling all these feelings and thoughts just bombard them from the enemy. I pray that that you take the enemy's arrows of attacks and that you shoot it back at uh, Satan and at his demons. Um, I pray that that you put a protective bu bubble around this person, that you... Um, that you give them peace inside of their heart, inside of their head, open their eyes to the truth, God, so that they don't believe the lies of the enemy. I pray that you make them recognize when they're hearing the enemy's voice rather than their own, God. I pray that you start to show them value in themselves, God. I pray that you start to show them um, areas that you are working in their life and, and um, Open their eyes to the good things, Lord. Um, give them something every day to be thankful for and, and show them how you are working in their life, Lord. Um, I pray that you provide to them whatever it is that they need to get through this time um, and that you put a stop to these, these sort of thoughts and feelings in the future, God. I pray that you start bringing into their life the good things that you have spoken about that are for them. Um, 
I pray that you give them to determination and, and um, resolve in their spirit to make it through these times. And I pray that you um, provide them your word and um, provide them exactly what they need in this time, God. Um, I pray that you send them to the right person that, that is able to help them. I pray that, that if they need medication, that you provide a pathway to get that, God. Um, and we give you all glory and honor and praise for what you are doing, Lord. He gave me this verse for you. He's uh, 2 Corinthians 4. Verse 17, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us eternal glory that fars outweigh them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Okay, this is temporary what you're going through. It may not seem light and momentary, but it is. Okay, um, so... You have to know that, that there are uh, good things for you, not only in this life, but at, in the life to come as well. And, um, and we need to fix our eyes on those good things. We need to fix our eyes on, on the Lord and his promises and our, our home in heaven um, and, and know that this is a spiritual battle that you are facing. Okay. I love you very much. Feel free to email me if you need to speak uh, with me. I will continue to pray for you and just know that the Lord, the Lord has you right in the palm of his hand. I love you.